statistics out there show that we have over 90,000 institutions of higher education globally. Approximately 20,000 are in Global North and over 70,000 are in the Global South. That puts the number of students in higher education institutions globally at approximately 250 million. With a conservative assumption that about a third of these students graduate into the job market annually from different colleges and universities. We are talking about approximately 85 million certificate holders coming into the job market that is already shrouded with high unemployment each and every year. And yet, according to the 2022 International Labor Organization report on employment trends, only 68 million jobs were created last year, bringing the total global employment to about 3.325 billion people in 2022, up from 3.257 billion people in 2021. This shows you that fewer job opportunities are created annually compared to the number of graduates coming out of our colleges and universities who are churned into the job market. Despite this reality on employment, still the dream to get a formal education in many societies hold because they have seen getting formal education is attached to some prestige. They have seen opportunities read employment that educated people have gotten. And also they have seen a couple houses, even standard cars that employed people by a decade or so after finishing college or university. This is what the society holds in high regard. And yet, the real MVPs in our communities are actually business people, a good number of whom never stepped into a college class, rather sharpened their business acumen and understanding of the flow of money through practice from an early age. Contrary to what is seen from outside, a good number of people who get formal education still deep inside have self-doubts as to whether what they have learned is applicable in the real world. And this is so because they have seen divergence between what's taught in class and the real world experience during, for example, their internships, or even they might have done their own self-reflection to identify this. And that is true. Social economic pressures to get a good job after college is as old as documentation about vibrant goods, but this facade is fading as we're going to see in this video. But the real question is, why is a good number of degree holders poor and constantly broke? In fact, a good number of them are quote-unquote employed but are surviving by scalping like church mice living paycheck to paycheck, struggling to pay their rent or even mortgage, struggling to put food on their plate, struggling to get clothes for themselves and their family, etc. And what's worse, they keep consoling themselves that life will change after they get promoted at their workplace and their bosses increase their annual salaries by a single percentage. Sadly, this has already happened multiple times to no change in lifestyle, but is still a consoling factor most employed degree holders lean onto. In other words, they are prepared to work for people. They are suffering because they don't understand the flow of money and yet they are hoping for the elusive that is going to happen soon. Yet opportunities are passing by their eyesight day in day out but they can't grab them due to self-doubt fearing what others might think of them or even due to non-competing clauses that have been input into their employment contracts by their employers on the other side business people who have no image to uphold to a society and are chasing their dreams are possibly making in a single day what an employed person is making in 
the entire month, despite their difference in the level of formal education. You might be wondering, why is this the case? Let's now discuss five reasons why a good number of degree holders are constantly broke and poor. The first reason is the lack of thinking beyond certificates. You see, the world is very dynamic, so is the workplace and requirement for problem solving on a daily basis. Unfortunately, for most degree holders, their thinking is limited to what their certificates pronounce. This is flawed as the certificate only gets you into the house of opportunity. However, how you maneuver inside there depends on your dexterity and your ability to learn and relearn on a regular basis. Education should assist us think how to solve problems rather than think of how to implement what we've learned like robots. The second reason as to why most degree holders are constantly broke is because they prioritize their certificates over their talents and gifts. All of us have talents and gifts. Unfortunately for educated people, quote unquote those holding different certificates and degrees, they have to sacrifice their talents and gifts to ensure they maintain employabilities. Which is just bizarre because we all know that talents and gifts have the potential to reward a person greatly. We have all witnessed, for example, how good footballers, how good NBA basketball players, how good musicians, etc. are raking in tens and even hundreds of millions of dollars annually. If the goal is to make money, why sacrifice your talents and gifts because of guaranteed security? In form of a salary, which most likely is way below your worth. I think the basic compromise is pursue both if you're really insisting on employment. And then the third reason as to why most degree holders are constantly broke is that they know less about themselves and more about things. That is how most education systems are designed to improve your intelligence quotient by assisting you know more about things in a field you have aligned yourself in or in a field you have paid fee for. Unfortunately, there is no recovery without discovery. And by the way, a poor man is just poor because they have not discovered their hidden treasures that are deep in them. Once they do that, the world is theirs for the taking. They're going to be able to bring those hidden treasures to the world and the world is going to compensate them in great ways as opposed to just being there, being employed, you know, trying to see how to impart your knowledge of things on other things, yet you don't really know much about yourself. And then the fourth reason as to why a good number of degree, ho degree holders are broke is because degrees and certificates position you to look for jobs rather than opportunities. Let's step back and examine the origin of selling knowledge to the masses. All this intensified around the Industrial Revolution, right? It was intentionally so because factories, industries out there needed workers with specific knowledge and skills. Sadly, this premise has hold to death. Most degree holders come across opportunities that they could grab and even those opportunities could change their lives in just a few months, but they rather pass on them because they have to conform to being good employees, exactly how they were trained in college to be. And then the fifth reason why a good number of degree holders are broke is because degrees prepare people to look for security and not take initiative. As I've discussed, it is very clear that people who hold degrees are actually wired to go after security because in the first place they were getting an education so as to secure a job, so as to be able to get a salary, so as to be able to take care of the families and so forth. Most degrees train people to secure jobs after college. It drills in them that getting a job will be the saving grace 
as it will guarantee them security in form of a salary and their families quote unquote won't suffer. As such, very few graduates take initiative to create as opposed to assisting others build their dreams by being employees. And fortunately, that's the premise upon which most degrees are built on and train students on exactly doing that. By the way, which degree did you study for in college? Did it train you to grab opportunities and take initiatives or it just prepared you to become a diligent employee? Share with us in the comment section down below. Let's see which degrees you hold and also how the degree you hold has transformed your life. As I look to conclude, in no way am I dismissing the importance of formal education. Formal education is important, yes. However, obtaining formal education with a sole aim to be employed is a thing of the past and, by the way, has been surpassed by possibilities the world has to offer to all despite their background or formal education level. We are at an age where skills and competencies supersede certificates. That's why we are even seeing big corporations out there which used to hire based on degrees and colleges people attended start to hire based on skills and competences someone is bringing on board. That is the value a person is bringing as opposed to what their degrees read and so forth. In fact, degrees are becoming a good to have as opposed to being the deal breaker. Therefore, the world will be a great place in case all of us train ourselves, train our children, and even inform our neighbors to understand that formal education fortunes are changing and people need to start obtaining skills relevant to industrialization and digitization in this modern era at a young age as opposed to going to spend years in college just to get employed. And yet, the skills or the training in college is not up to par with the rapidly evolving world we live in. Many thanks for watching this video. My name is Afaga Sifuna and as always, it has been my pleasure to provoke your creative juices with awesome knowledge and sharing on what is happening around the world. Cheers, see you next time. Bye-bye.